Hello, Comanche Native here, and we're taking a closer look at the Capture Gallery. Now, this is for those who capture a lot of screenshots, or maybe they capture some video, and they just don't know where to find them. There are actually three methods to do on your system to find the Capture Gallery file. Now, this right here is called the Gaming Menu. It has a list of games and any applications that you open. If it's not listed here, then you scroll all the way to the right to where you get to the library. Once you find the library, you click on that. You go to all, and over here on the right side, you will see a whole bunch of files. You look for the Capture Gallery file, you highlight it, and then you click on that. Now, this is the third step. This one is a little longer. This goes through settings. You might be wondering, well, how do I get from the gaming menu to the main menu? Well, what you do is you take a look at your controller. You have these direction buttons on the left side of your controller. You hit the direction button up. And what that'll do is it'll transfer you from the gaming menu to the main menu. And the reason why it's called the main menu, because here you have your plus information, your notification, your friends list, your communities, events, message, chat party, your profile, trophies, and settings, and even control the power options. So what we want to do is we want to go through settings. We'll click on that. We go through the account management. We click on that. And we scroll down to where we see storage, and we open that. And we're going to go to system storage. Now, if you bought an extended storage like I did, I bought it at Walmart. It was an okay price, around the 90s. You'll see it listed here. But if you don't, then all you're going to see is a system storage. So we're going to go ahead and click on the system storage. You have your applications. You have your capture gallery, save data, themes, and free space. Now, the bar up top lets you know if your system is getting too full. And when you have to delete certain things, this is where it's going to take you to this screen. So we're going to go into the Capture Gallery. Now here are all the gaming files that you have saved on your system. Now in Battle of Ages, I just have a kilobyte of space, which means it's the smallest space in there, which I'm just going to go ahead and assume I just have one screenshot. It being that small, it's probably just one screenshot but as you can see there's megabytes and gigabytes so let's go ahead and go into battle ages and let's see okay yes I do have one screenshot now you have the option all you have the screenshots you have the video clips if I had video clips they would pop up right here but I don't have any video clips saved from this game let's go back to the main menu let's go into 99 vids let's check that out I have some megabytes there I think it's just screenshots yeah yeah, there's just screenshots listed. And this is of trophies. And then video clips is zero. All right, let's go back out and go into Battlefield 1. That has the gigabytes. Now, video clips do take a lot of space. Just keep that in mind. So these are my screenshots. My trophies will automatically go here, as well as just random screenshots that I took while playing. My video clips. They're all there. I just got to go through them. So let's go ahead and open up a screenshot. Let's click on this one. And this is what it's going to show you when you click on a screenshot. It's going to give you a full view of what you saved. Let's go to the video. Let's let's pick a clip. Let's um, pick this one here. And then open that one. What this will do is it will actually play you the clip. And then you could take a look at certain video clips that you may have saved on your system. Do some instant replay there. Just check them out. And then you can edit these through the Share Factory. You can edit all the screenshots as well as any video clips through Share Factory. Now, if you did have a flash drive, depending on how much space it could hold, you could plug it into your PlayStation 4 and then transfer all the screenshots and video to that flash drive to use at a later time on your computer. Now, sometimes the videos, they will skip ahead. I don't know what the reason why it does that, but it does that sometimes. Now, if you look at a video and you say, hey, that person was talking to me, but I didn't capture their voice on the video, well, that's because they made it to where their voice is not shared on anyone's video. That might be the reason. But I just wanted to make a fun video about the Capture Gallery and the three steps to find this. You do have to keep an eye on this because it will fill up your PlayStation. Anyway, this is Comanche Native, and I'll see you next time.